The Violence Against Women Domestic Abuse and Sexual Violence Act came into force in 2015. This film provides a summary of the Welsh Government's first report, covering the period between October 2015 and March 2017. A National Advisor for Violence Against Women, Other Forms of Gender-Based Violence, Domestic Abuse and Sexual Violence was appointed, and a national strategy was developed. Both help us to ensure that tackling these issues is marked as a national priority, with strong leadership and oversight. The work was supported by the establishment of a task and finish group who were assisting in the development of national indicators on violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence. Significant progress has been made to establish a national training framework on the subject. Statutory guidance has been published and for the first time standards have been set on training in this area, upskilling the public service to better respond to those experiencing abuse. Crucially, we have launched an e-learning program to provide basic free training on violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence, which is available to everyone across Wales. Over 25,000 people were trained by March 2017. That's 25,000 Welsh workers who are now more aware, more informed and more confident to identify and respond to abuse. Ask and Act was launched in two early adopter sites in 2015. Already over a thousand people have been trained to Ask and Act, and we learnt a lot about how best to roll the programme out nationally in 2017. Improving and supporting the role of those working in education to help tackle violence and abuse is a priority of the Act. We publish guidance on a whole education approach to violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence in Wales, ran a conference for education practitioners and launched a new child sexual exploitation resource. We issued guidance for school governors to raise awareness of these issues and published best practice information and guidance to primary, secondary and further education providers. We commissioned Estin to carry out a review of existing healthy relationship education within schools and participated in a sex and relationships expert panel to provide the Welsh Government with advice in this area. In order to meet the ambitious aims of the Act, local services need to be in place, working effectively and with stability. In August 2016, we worked with Lloyds Bank Foundation to launch a collaborative commissioning toolkit for VAW DASV services in Wales. We've also started to develop a proposed regional approach to funding and service delivery between local authorities and third sector organisations. Much has been achieved since the Act came into force in 2015. We still have work to do and we continue to make progress. A further report documenting implementation work undertaken between March 2017 and March 2018 will be published in the summer. To see the full 2015 to 2017 report, visit livefearfree.gov.wales.